Go. Want to talk about combustible elements? Look no further than oh, this no. match. A tag team, oh, no. elimination, tornado, table match. Oh, and he failed to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. Slow. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. If there was ever a man born to be a WWE superstar, it was the guy standing in the squared circle today, Randy Orton. He's descended from ring royalty. His father, his uncle, his grandfather, all of them were superstars in their own day. Yeah, and Randy has more than capably followed in their footsteps, Cole. Nice. Winning championship after championship since entering the WWE back in 2002. Oh, right, he's right. made his daddy proud. He's having a serious... Oh, wow. And there's another oh. smack. It's got to oh. be over now. Don't hit me. Man, on. He's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. Now back to the ring. Cole, what's he got in mind? And maybe it's that lineage we were talking about. But the Apex Predator has always had the presence of a champion. I remember noticing the first time I saw him in the ring. I just knew Randy Orton was destined for greatness, and that's exactly what he's achieved. This is exactly how he drew this one up. Look out! What a decapitating lariat! What a ruthless onslaught to the back. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Well, if Randy Orton was born to be a champion, great counter. That net breaker certainly changes the complexion of this one. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. Can't just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. It's one thing to want to dominate in the ring. It's another to go after his leg with the hope of ending his career. Yeah, moves like this can cripple a person. We're looking at complete... Now that's how you make a statement. And a wicked elbow shot right there. Well, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Quick thinking to avoid that. You don't want to be flat on your back at this point. I'm not sure I can watch this. He's in big trouble. Ow! Ooh. That's it. He's done. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades. Uh, throw to me. And all of it can be used on, to cause massive way. damage. Oh, my God. Sorry. This is intense. It's like he's trying to force mind over that matter and hoping that his body, specifically his leg, won't fail him now. Yeah, this is a part of the struggle when you're in that ring that sometimes your mind says one thing, but your body does another. And he gets out of the way. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Okay, no this is going to need some serious medical attention. We're looking at complete domination here. Once the bat goes, it's nearly impossible to stand. Oh, he did it! Everybody knows, serious. From day one I said I was serious, but nobody took me serious. So now I say, boy, but I know. I'm a big man, but I'm not dirty. Yo, watch me get dirty. Marco, he might not roast my not dirty. I'm a big man, but I'm not dirty. Yo, 